Uh, police are, are, are conducting raids on the homes of Alessia Mazamas in Matola in Johannesburg, and it comes after several uh, other arrests, uh, suspected illegal miners in Riverley. We go now live uh, on the field. We have uh, ENCA reporter Bafedile Muerane. Over to you, Bafedile. Bafedila, if you can hear me, we heard reports of shooting in Riverley as the police are trying to arrest the issue of illegal mining, which many have said that it is an act of terrorism because it does destabilize the soil under the surface. There's a lot of illegal activity that is going on, and uh, there were reports of fatal uh, fatalities as well uh, when uh, the mining activities uh, had resulted in a gas leak. Remember that community where over 17 people had lost their lives. But uh, let's go to Bafedile Muerane now. Bafedile, good um, afternoon to you. If you can hear me, can you tell us what's currently happening in Riverley at the moment? Well, Cindy, at this point in time, it is serious tensions between the illegal miners and the JMPD who are led by the MMC for safety from the city of Johannesburg. When we arrived in this place called Matole, it looks like it's a serious operation here, a very serious syndicate as we are seeing um, some of the equipment being used by illegal miners. And we have heard some of community members shouting when the police arrived, said, using the words uh, in Setswana saying, Retusing, which means help us because they are being terrorized by illegal miners. So where we are standing at this point, um, here you can see uh, there is a, a, this thing looks like a shaft where we are. This is where um, particularly the illegal miners are operating. So they've been exchanging fire um, with uh, the uh, uh, JMPD officials. So they've went up there and we are told that we should remain here because we are not putting any vests uh, to protect ourselves as the situation is volatile and quite dangerous at this point in time. So it is just a shootout between um, the police and the illegal Zamazamas. But the community members in this uh, area are saying that they are really living in fear. They are under siege. Illegal miners are holding them at ransom and they are appealing to government to come down here uh, and, and really tackle this matter head on because for a very long time this matter has been persisting, it, uh, it has been continuing and it looks like at this point in time it's escalating. Um, at the time when the police are saying they're trying the level best to come on the ground but it seems like there is no solution, it is escalating. So we're seeing the officials now are coming back from up there, they are coming back to us, it looks like they have really ran away. So they are basically staying here at Amatola. We're going to move to that particular site where we're going to show you that this is a very serious operation, Cindy. Um, you know, a, a very busy place when it comes to illegal mining. So at this point in time, the officials on the ground having to go after the illegal miners. And Bafedila, we also heard that, as you are saying, this is quite a, uh, a busy uh, activity un under the ground, uh, with the headquarters even being mentioned to where you are at the moment. And uh, the police, uh, we, we heard reports that they could be outnumbered or that they don't have the, uh, you know, the arson or the uh, machine power, as it were, that the Zamazamas have. Well, the police minister uh, during the week, he has mentioned that he has invested everything that he can in this. But today we are only seeing JMPD members, Johannesburg Metro Police officers here who are led by the safety MMC. So um, at this point, they are really here trying their best. As we spoke to the MMC earlier on, having to vow that he is definitely going to uh, take this matter very serious. He's going to tackle it. If you see uh, the police are carrying uh, their rifles uh, that mm -hmm. they were shooting with earlier on in, ex in that altercation that took place. Quite a scary and, uh, you know, uh, scenes that were unfolding earlier on. Community members also having to say that this is too much for us. We don't know what to do as residents who are staying here. We're being terrorized each and every day. 
earlier on when we were um, at Zamimpilo, we spoke to one of uh, the community uh, policing forum member who has indicated to us that um, uh, in the afternoon around five o'clock, you will see an altercation taking place amongst, between actually themselves as Zamazamas because they are fighting for territory. So you will hear the gunshots being fired, uh, um, you know, ag against each other. And community members are saying that they're really scared. They don't know what to do. They don't know where to go. But however, the uh, Johannesburg uh, MMC for Safety has promised them that he is definitely going to try his best. This is the second day today. Uh, with this operation taking place in these areas um, uh, of Johannesburg. So, Cindy, at this point in time, this is the situation that's unfolding. Com uh, police are carrying um, the guns there, having to fire shots earlier on uh, when we arrived in this place. Fedi, it's also astonishing, I think, to many of us uh, South Africans concerned about uh, the criminality and just the level of brazenness of the Zamazamas is the fact that they have been left to entrench their operations over many, many years. And now it's, it's come to the point where the livelihood of communities is being threatened. So any hope in sight of uh, whether this approach, at least from the police ministry, would work and how long are they going to be on the premises? Well, earlier on, when I had an interview with uh, the safety MMC from the city of Johannesburg, he actually said that um, he is thinking of engaging the Department of Mineral Resources in trying to engage them in a sense that they want to legalize this illegal mining because really it is persisting, it's growing each and every day. The police have been on the ground. We have seen them uh, in, in numerous occasions having to come on the ground. This is uh, a part of the things here, Cindy, uh, being used by these illegal miners. As I told you earlier on that I was shocked when we arrived in this place called Amatole. Like, it's, it's a very serious operation that's taking place. You can even see with one of um, the, the equipments that have been set up here. So, but however, the police are saying that that they are going to try their level best. They have been trying their level best. But however, the MMC, as I indicated, he is also intending to engage the um, Department of Mineral Resources in a way to try to reach an amicable solution of maybe uh, uh, in future legalizing this uh, thing because it seems to be uh, persisting, it seems to be growing. All right, Bafedile, thank you indeed for that uh, update. That's ENCA reporter Bafedile Muirane out in Rivoli, where earlier on shots were fired, and there's a turf war between the Zamazamas there and community members fearing for their lives as uh, this criminality is just pervasive and continues unabated.